Hello, Internet. In this video, we're growing trees like these from seeds. Now, I always thought these were called cedar trees, but it's actually Thuja oxa something. Thuja occidentalis. Let me know what you call them in the comments. This journey starts in the fall of 2021. I found a local tree which had some cones. You can open these cones up and remove the seeds. I left everything outside through winter so that they were in a cold environment and in March moved the seeds and cones into soil. I wanted them to start getting wet and moist while there was still frost and freezing weather just to ensure that the seeds did stratify. As the weather started to warm up, I was having a hard time keeping things damp. This balcony is southern facing, getting a lot of sun, and you can see just how dry my fabric pots are getting here. I was watering things regularly, just hoping to keep my seeds moist so that they would germinate. In May, I had a few small seedlings starting to pop up. You can see we've got one, two, three young seedlings here. Here we are in August. We've got four established seedlings, uh, still very tiny. We can see they've got a couple sets of leaves growing. One of them seems to be clearly outpacing the others. And here we are in October. I would expect that these are dormant now and probably not growing anymore. You can see that we've got some branching taking place. They're starting to fill out a bit. The two on the right are still quite small, but those left two seedlings do have some branches, seem to be growing nicely. Our tallest seedling looks to be maybe just over two inches tall, and our smallest seedlings are maybe one to one and a half inches tall. Not too sure what to make of this, if they're growing well or not. They do seem quite tiny, but they're alive and that's a win. I would keep these trees outside and uncovered through winter and it seems like they did live. We rejoined them in April here. It seems like they're alive which is more than I can say for my pine trees and my spruce trees so happy to see that something lived. Checking in near the end of the second growing season we're down to just two seedlings now. Not a lot has happened. I've been watering them, but uh, the two smaller seedlings did sort of dry out and die. These do appear to be alive and growing though. Not a ton of height being added throughout the season, but you can see the branching has developed considerably. Both of these have multiple side branches, which appear to be growing tertiary branches as well. We're up to about three inches on the first seedling, maybe two and a half or so on the second. Growth seemed to be pretty slow here. Again, not much height, not too sure what to make of this, but they are still alive. Once again, the trees were outside through winter, uncovered. And in April of 24 here, looks like they're still alive. Seem to be healthy, seem to be okay. Now that I've moved, I've got these trees in a shady environment. We can see that the pots are staying pretty moist. I think they're gonna do better in this environment. This next clip is from August of 24, uh, nearing the end of our third growing season. You can see one of our trees has disappeared and the other is broken in half. Maybe squirrels, maybe rabbits, I'm not sure, but an unfortunate end to these trees. They were growing pretty well this year. I think they were enjoying the shade, probably doubled in size throughout the season, nearing six inches tall or so, although it's hard to see that now. These trees seem to grow pretty slowly from seed. Might be better off trying to propagate them. I can see online that that is possible. I'm trying it myself right now. Um, I will post a video of how that works, but I think we could get to this six inch size pretty quickly through propagation. Okay, unfortunately that's the end of the road for these trees. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it helps you to maybe grow your own trees. Let me know in the comments what you think of this grow. And show me how your own trees are doing. I would love to, you know, hear any info, see any videos. 
drop a note in the comments. Let's see what you got. If you want to help support me and my dog and my family, click this video right here. Maybe even click on the ads. I don't know. Do you. Thank you.